Hello lovely people. Welcome back to the channel. It is 2023 and we are in the day and age where trends don't even have a lifetime of a mosquito. And maybe interior decorations were one such trend or maybe I'm just hallucinating it. But nonetheless, here is a short tutorial on how you can quickly create a carpet, rug, mat, whatever it is called in whatever part of the world you're from and unroll it. I'm using Blender 3.5 if my memory serves me right. But this should work in other versions as well as long as Blender Foundation didn't decide to start messing up with how cloth and force simulations work. So let's get started. Let me just toggle screencast keys so if I fail to talk about any step, hopefully you Hawkeye people will still be able to follow. Going by tradition, we nuke everything from the scene. Make your job easier by enabling add curve extra objects add-on in the edit menu. Shift A for the add menu and feast your eyes on these curves which you probably didn't even know existed. From here, we need an Archimedean spiral. We look at it from the top like a god and also because it is easier to see what we are doing with it. Without clicking anywhere else, we expand this curve spirals menu in the bottom left. We are only concerned with spiral parameters and Archimedean settings. Increase turns, increase radius growth and decrease radius. Now you can scale it down a bit, rotate it and move it so that it will unroll to the right. Or feel free to spin it right round like a record. Or can I not say that? Once we are done with that, add a plane and scale it in the X direction. This will be your carpet that will unfold. Go into edit menu and subdivide it around 200 times. I am going to assign the last two vertices on the rightmost end to the vertex group. How do I know to use these and not the leftmost end ones? Trial and error darling. Get out of the editing mode and add a curve modifier. Select the spiral as a curve object. Don't worry if you see this massive stretch. Press G and X to move your carpet in the X direction and watch it wind up like clockwork along that beautiful spiral. When you are happy with what you got, apply the curve in the modify tab and delete the spiral cause we burn the breaches after crossing them. Just keeping it clean. Apply all transformations and scale it until it looks like a carpet you would enjoy unrolling. Now, add a plane which will be your ground, scale it to whatever size you want. Go into the physics tab and add collision. For the carpet, go into the physics tab and add cloth. We can use this three line menu from the top right to select the cotton preset. Go down to shape and select the vertex group you assigned in the pin group menu. This will keep those particular vertices pinned to the space. Go down to collisions and enable self collisions. And the final thing to do here is to reduce gravity to about 0.05. Let's play it. Ah, Tokyo Drift away from the street. Anyway, right click and shade smooth. Shift A for the add menu and from inside force field add wind. Rotate it whoops, to the correct direction so that the wind unrolls your carpet and give it a strength as 100. And now when you play, voila, beauty. Wish a red carpet would unroll like this for me when I make an entry. Just kidding, I will be too embarrassed to even walk on it. There you go. If you find some issues with the simulation, then just increase the quality steps here in collisions and that should take care of most of the simulation related issues. Now you can export the simulation as an LMB cache and have as many carpets as you want in your scene without tanking your CPU with simulations. And that's it. Do let me know if you manage to use this to make something. Don't forget to like the video if it was helpful and subscribe to the channel for more such content. See you again in the next one. Have a great day.